Hey right guys, Josh Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 19 of One Tree Hill Season 8. We have four episodes left, inclu yeah, including this one, so we're kind of wrapping up the season now. Uh, last episode was, what, 50% flashbacks, 50% Haley giving birth, and Brooke being told that. Or not told, but with eyes, <laughs> with emotion, basically being told that she's not going to be a mother yet again. Uh, which I'm unsure how I feel, I just felt like we were building up to this and it feels like this is where Brooke's character wants to be very clearly and they just keep giving us reasons for it. To be fair though, each reason as to why she hasn't been able to achieve that goal yet has been different. Like I said in the last episode, but the first uh, baby, like she knew it was like a limited amount of time until like someone was able to take her or not it was like the baby's actual parents were able to get to america to take, i can't really remember but uh yeah so that was the reason for that one then she thought she can't have babies so naturally she can't have babies then sam uh was kind of of a, what, what age was she like 16 or something so it was at an age where she could make her own choices to go find her at like actual mama she wanted to which she did uh so that's another reason and then this one you know she gave birth and then kind of did the cliche in terms of tv shows of oh i've seen the baby and now i kind of actually want to keep it so uh that's yeah <laughs> it's just really unfortunate situations for brooke uh it likes it's probably better in some of those situations like it's better for the child that the outcome happened but for brooke who we love Eh, kind of hurts a little bit so i'm still rooting for her to maybe like somehow if there, even there's like a one percent chance of her getting pregnant that could maybe happen we'll see but i don't want them to i don't want them to do another adoption storyline like that that's either it now or she's by miracle gets pregnant uh, i don't think we need another storyline of her like you know hoping someone can help with the situation but we'll see but then it's like a, maybe in real life like you would try again i guess if that's really what you wanted you wouldn't just give up like you would i'd assume i mean depending on who you are like I feel like me personally, like you'd want to go through that pain potentially again, just to potentially, you know, have a happy outcome instead of giving up with it. So we'll see. We'll see what they do. But either way, that was a long intro. So <laughs> episode 19, guys, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like if you're new. Remember to subscribe. And if you do on the early and on cuts to One Tree Hill, then Patreon will be linked down below where they would have finished Tree Hill and would be on to the next show, which I believe is going to be Charmed. So they would have started Charmed. I mean, Charmed would have started on YouTube <laughs> by the time. That's how far behind we are with YouTube. Charmed would have actually started on YouTube by the time this episode's on YouTube. I'm going to imagine, but yeah. Anyway, guys, let's do this. A four-in-one convertible crib. How the hell does that work? Got the car from the bridge that night. Stop! 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 Yeah, he's not gonna forget that. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with people? How do you just watch transition? I found an empty bottle of Vidians in the front seat. What's this? Bourbon. Oh right, it's. After ethics in business every day, and he just gets drunk, nearly kills Jamie and my wife, and just drives away. <laughs> Brooke nearly drowned that night, and he just leaves her there. Oh, was, was it the dad? I thought it was Damon, B Tech Damon. Killing his class is about to start. Oh, okay, so it's the professor. My class gets younger every day. You must have done exceedingly well on your advanced placement exams. Now they're here to prove a <laughs> point to you, mate. And the, and the kid you almost killed. And your father is? Nathan Scott. Sitting right there. And he ain't happy. <laughs> Nothing like that. I just oh wanted God. to see you again. <laughs> but I don't believe we've met. You have, briefly. We ran into each other the night of the big storm. Oh my God. You were in a hurry, so we really didn't get a chance to talk. Well, we should do that, perhaps after class at my office. We know where to find you. Oh, okay. Didn't I straight up call him out in front of the class? Damn. I thought he was going to go in. Kept it professional. <laughs> um, you won't get another today. Go enjoy it. Class dismissed. I feel like maybe it wasn't him. I don't know. Maybe it's like, they're telling us it's him, but I thought it was Damon guy. We'll see. What song we got anyway? Nickelback. <laughs> Here we go, oh my god. 
It's White. White is singing it. <laughs> Peace of man. That was awful. Look at that one. Uh, but to be fair, I had like some Yellowstone twang to it. I got like a two. And he's watching us all in the eye. Oh. Oh, the tiger. How about when they tell you to turn off your phone for safety reasons? If the safety of the plane no, can what? be affected Are by you? cell phones, do you really think they'd let you bring them on board? I never thought of that. Mmm, yes, yes, yes. Mouth. The wise warrior. Reeks of cologne and laughs out loud at his own jokes. That's the guy we're gonna trust to do the right thing? Mouth, you have zero things what you're on about. You'll have like zero, zero points. Nothing. He's like, he's saying so much, but so little at the same time. Why is Chester upset? Well, I kind of told him that Liddy's middle name was Bob mm, after Grandma's cat. And not Chester. And he was a little hurt by it. Haley Chester. Lydia Chester Scott. I don't know, it doesn't quite have the right ring to it, does it? I think it actually does more than Bob. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Haley Bob Scott. I think I would actually swap that with Chester. Oh, Bob, because it was a Bobcat. Okay, very, very deep. She's pretty awesome, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Yeah, she's vibing. Oh my god, we're getting the song again. Cream of the fat, rise it up to the challenge of our rival. Very funny. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, these two having a friendship, I will actually take that. Because <laughs> Alex something. How many songs do you have? Uh, I don't know, a bunch. Good. How would you like to open for Olin and the Moon? Olin and the Moon. What? This weekend. Yeah, I'm opening mm -hmm. for Olin and the Who? It's Owen or Olin. Owen and the Moon. Whatever you think you know, you've made a mistake. Yeah. Probably. I saw the car in your garage. First of all, my home and that my vehicle are my own business. Beyond that, I had an accident. So what? So what? So you nearly killed my son and a good friend. You're wrong. I swerved to miss some deer and I hit a light pole. You hit a car, Kellerman. Okay, maybe it was him. You didn't do it or you don't remember doing it, considering the empty bottle of bourbon he, I found I think it's his seat. son. You're making a mistake. That's what I thought the first time. I was like, why would it be in his car? I guess I live in the same house, so <laughs> that makes sense. My son was trapped inside that car <laughs> he could be a bit more like he was alone and you left him there understanding and you could have helped them but instead you slipped into the shadows like a coward well i'm about to shine a light into those shadows oh. and you know what you did and this is going to be made right by you or by me by dan scott you think about that it's the music <laughs> I don't know, I think you're off. I think you're off. You know, he does seem a bit unsure. <laughs> and <laughs> they cut to sad music, yes, for Brooke. The wall and we're going to send these things back and we're going to be just fine. I know, I'm all right. Well, you're not. <laughs> yeah, give the baby nightmares. Besides, Insane Aunt Quinn just booked Olin in the moon to play trick this weekend. Oh, get out of here. That's how little of an impression Olin and the moon left on the world. Yeah, of course, uh, <laughs> that kind of reaction. Depends, who is it? It's... Close over Brooks. Should be Peyton calling to check Brooks okay, but... <laughs> alas. So, check it out. Well, no, she well. Did <laughs> God, they I'm fumbled these two as a couple. You are. You're doing great. I'm proud of you for it. Oh, they're, they're cute little date when they went golfing, and then the episode after they like gave up. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if we should uh, do this couple. It's so, okay. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh, yeah. Hi. Ah, so how are you? Crossover Bros offered me a job. Well, it's about time. It's good. That's so random. <laughs> do you want a job? I get all influence creatively, and they still own my apartment in New York. <laughs> You'd come back to New York. Oh, wow. No, you won't do that. Julian feel about New York. He wants to go. We both do. You haven't told him. <laughs> and it's your baby. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the best choice of words. Oh, no, she seems all right. <laughs> Future home of the Riverview condominium. Uh, no. What does that mean for the river court? There won't be a river court. That's a no. Just the man I wanted to see. I believe I owe you an apology. Oh my god, is it's that okay? No. That's gracious of you, Jamie, but it's certainly not okay. Jamie, why don't you go ahead and wait in the car for a minute, okay? 
Okay. They're gonna have a tussle. Can your dog actually ride a skateboard? He can. Cool. Cool. I've been Professor Kellerman for nearly 30 years. I'm a senior academic with tenure. Oh, well, it's about to change. Usually stemming from severe misconduct. You mind if we sit? I'd rather stand. <laughs> I'll sit. It does not, however, allow you to drive drunk and flee the scene of an accident. I, I yeah, assume that was Which the is case. what I did. Mm, I'm still, uh, still not sure. Having a dinner in Raleigh, and I, I didn't want to wait out the storm. So you drove home drunk? No. With an open bottle of fittings in the car? And that was wrong. So, as of today, I'm no longer Professor Kellerman. He protected his son. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. yeah, I think he's taken the fall for his son. Because he knows as soon as he says, like, oh yeah, it's my son who did it, he's not going to want to be <laughs> signed with him. <laughs> Nathan looks so unbothered. Testing. What now, Quinn? Testing. Uh, Quinn's adorable, but she is on, on some wild crack addiction the last kind of five apps. I've always wanted to be on TV. Well, sing or dance or entertain me or something. Um. um it's the eye of the tiger. It's oh. And the last known survivor stops his prey in the night. And, and he's watching us all with the eye. Oh, that's like some Marvel humour. Some of this comedy is Marvel comedy for sure. And they're right behind me, aren't they? Only in the moon, and so right behind me. First off, congrats on the baby. Very strong. Tell her to come and see me in about 17 years. Wow. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? I just hope that what happened doesn't affect us. Not the three of us. It will when they find out it was you, mate. You, Ian. Watch me be wrong. Maybe they're waiting for the finale to reveal. It won't be a thing. I want to avoid Alex Dupre. I was kind of working that, but she totally blew me off. Smart girl. Yeah, yeah. Ian, why don't you ask Clay why Alex Dupre knows you can see the ocean from his bedroom? Never asked him. Did he hook up with Valley? I always forget. I can't believe they're going to tear down the river court. It's going to be so weird not to have it here. They can't do that. That's going to be depressing. But yeah, I bet it feels like that'll be like the finale. You know, I've said that about everything. Future home, a Riverview condominiums. <laughs> I can't believe it. End of an era. The fact that that's not actually a court anymore as well in real life. Someone was saying on Patreon. He was right. I'm not a musician. I'm just an actress pretending to be one. No, you sound good, so. No, you're not. Oh, <laughs> Why, why, why are these two a thing or not? I'm so confused. <laughs> Winners. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the very beautiful and very talented Alex Dupre. One intro. <laughs> Do the One Tree Hill intro. Cornbread. This is like a song you'd get on The Bachelorette. Tell me I'm wrong. Real laugh here. Yeah, she, she does sound good. Um, what a transition, bro. I like that we haven't had, like, Jamie being jealous at the new bit. I mean, that could still happen, but Jamie's better than that. <laughs> Whoa, did you all see that transition? She is so extra. <laughs> yes, Alex. Arthur Morgan. He wishes. Right. You're just doing that for your own. Yeah, cool. Who's that? Who's even high? Is that? You just throw it at me. Okay. Do you remember Grubs? <laughs> the most pointless character in Tree Hill history, Grubs. And the Irish character. Oh, that guy's fist pumping it, wasn't it? Yeah, what a model, model. He resigned his teaching position and he offered to pay any costs associated with the accident. And he apologized. 
He apologized? Oh. I think Kellerman's life was academia, and he just lost that. But if you want to turn him in, I'm completely fine with that, too. Oh, this has nothing to do with Ian or Fortitude. I know that, but I want to talk to him. Oh. August Kellerman. I want to look him in the eye I'm and hear his side of things. I'm floss. I think that's fair. <laughs> He's always looking off to the left for zero reasons. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Just so Behind cute. Them, yeah. Perfect. Now let's give a warm trick welcome to Olin and the Moon. Yeah, all right, here we go. What song they're gonna sing about how the moon's made of cheese or something? It'll be the worst song ever. My name's Olin and I like the moon. Oh, he's singing about the sun, right? Or the whole band's a lie. I had trouble getting in. My name was on the list. What? I'm joking. Baby, That's hilarious. So do you, handsome? That was actually a zinger, to be fair, Clay. I'm not gonna lie, Clay though. They didn't have tequila flavor. Was it ice cream? Oh my god, it's like the cheapest ice cream ever. Where'd you get that from? The bins? It's all melted! Uh, bro! <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> I love when characters just stare at each other. They've accepted my resignation. I told there them I go. was done, that my heart wasn't in it anymore. But if the accident goes public, I'll deal with it. Uh, but I'm thankful she's not alive to see this. To see what's become of us. Always. Oh, Terrible line delivery. Good luck to your son. Oh, what? That was awful. Oh my god. My name is Julian Baker. My wife, Brooke, was in the car you hit. And I am your death. I'm sorry for that. Ha! <laughs> cool. I said I was sorry. Well, sorry isn't enough. You insensitive jerk. Oh! Called him a jerk? I nearly lost my wife. Nathan nearly lost his son. Do you know what that feels like? Yes, I do. <laughs> I've lost both. <gasps> He's a terrible act. I'm sorry. I don't like going on all actors, but... He's been actually fine up to, like, the second off this app. What is going on? Why is he so wooden? Yes, I do. I've lost both. Couldn't the professor have been watching his games from that window then? You heard the whole thing about a girl and a guitar? I What's thought that? it was a guy and a guitar. It's both. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, what's well, the thing? Do you have to live in Texas to get it? She told Mia you're amazing tonight and she says congratulations and she told you so. Speaking of girls with guitars, do you talk to Mia much? I don't know. Sometimes. Not. All right, once a week then. Tell her I said thanks and hi. Whoa! Yeah. Chuck says you're hot. Oh. <laughs> Awesome. Chuck definitely did not send that message. <laughs> Have you ever been that age and just text someone going, tell her she's hot? The hell? What if you did a piece on the river court? You know, something about the people who grew up here and what it means to the community? I like it. I actually kind of like these, like the quarters. <laughs> mm. I respect that, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I love how we could have just taken both. It's like you had to choose. Ah, oh, which picture do I take? I, only one can fit in this box. I'm picking the picture of my dog. Yeah, I get that. That's fine. I love how Julian Robert hyped himself up to speak to Kellerman, and he called him a jerk and then left. That's brilliant. I think you're right. I think we'd be happy in New York. No, it's called One Tree Hill. If the show is called New York City or something, then yeah. Gentlemen, uh, here's to Lydia. Here's to my showcase, and here's to me being rich by the time I'm as old as you guys are. <laughs> what are you drinking? It's bourbon. It's not just bourbon. It's Fidians. Yeah, bourbon. <laughs> oh my God! 
<laughs> no way! <laughs> the big reveal! I can't bloody believe it. I want Nathan had a flashback to a scene he wasn't even involved in. <laughs> oh, what a cliffhanger, bro. I can't bloody believe that that was actually the twist. That's very, very surprising. No one, zero people saw that one come in, to be fair. Zero people. That's brilliant. 79% um, on track this episode has. This is the highest rated episode since. Let's have a look. Um, <laughs> since, since the time they all lost their memory when they were all drunk. Okay, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. This. No. Um, don't get me wrong. For like this season. If we're talking about in the world of season eight of Tree Hill, this was a good episode. I'll, like this was far better than, I'd say this was the best episode since probably at fifteen. But that was mainly because we have Brooke trying on loads of different Halloween costumes. Like that definitely helped with that episode. So if we're putting that aside, it's probably the best episode since episode thirteen, which was the wedding between Brooke and Julian. Um, so I'll back that. But it's just like these reveals. It's like oh yeah, it was Caliban's son. It's like, okay, but then you think back to like some of the, not twists, but just some of the storylines, like actual plots we had, uh, even last season, and just like all the seasons building up to that, minus season five. But yeah, it's just not on the level. Uh, we've spoke, we've said this, we all know this at this point. Um, I'm just, I'm just ready for season nine. I feel like I'm excited to be done with this season because uh, the stories and the plots have never really been there for me. Like I know up to up, I'd say up. Eight, nine, I was kind of rooting for it to be like, okay, maybe the first half's just a little bit, you know, going through the One Tree Hill motions, but maybe we'll get the big storylines coming in. And it's never really had that. Like, Brooke, they have had, like, good storylines, like with Brooke and Julian and the baby, and that not going the way they planned. Like, I, I do appreciate these storylines, but again, and I said it before, I just feel like it's been done before and better with Sam. So I don't... It's like a good storyline, but it's been better. Hade is pregnant. She's been pregnant before, so that's nothing new either. It's just it's like a wholesome, I guess. And then Nathan's like big storyline here with Kellerman. It's just like, okay, yeah, it's fine. It's not like a bad story. I don't want to say it's bad, but I'm not invested really at like that much. It's, it's fine. Uh, and Julian be like, I'm going to talk to Kellerman Smellerman and I'm going to tell him how it is. And he rolls on up and goes, you're a jerk. And walks back out. Like, Julian's stinky this episode. I don't really know what he was doing. And also, that actor who played Kellerman, his line delivery was abhorrent. <laughs> Absolutely appalling in this episode. I don't think he's a bad actor because he has been actually good as, like, Professor Kellerman. Like, nothing exceptional, but he's been, like, good as the character. And then this episode, he stunk. I don't know. Maybe so, like, switched off because he was losing his dream job, and you could argue it, but to me, it just kind of came across as poor line delivery. But, uh, yeah, good episode, nothing amazing. Like I said, I'd probably give this a. I'll go a seven. I think it was, like, just the generic, like, good one tree hit episode. Uh, I could go, like, a high six, but we'll go a seven. I'm feeling like I need to give this show a number seven because it's been five episodes, I think. Uh, so, we'll, yeah, that's fine with me. But I could argue like a 6.8 if I'm being really brutally honest. So, either way on that one. Um, but, uh, yeah, three episodes left, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments and I'll see you next time for episode 20. Until then, take care. Peace.